All right, we're looking at Paulson Adebo. Uh, if you remember that Giants game, they picked on him in that second half in overtime. Bad, bad, bad. Not going to lie, I was ready for Roby, you know, to get out there and play. But the Saints, having faith in their young rookie, gave him another shot against Washington uh, this past weekend. Or I guess two weekends ago now because we had a bye week. And he delivered, man. He had a bounce back game. And that's, that shows the confidence that Dennis Allen and Sean Payton have in this kid because – they could have easily benched him for a guy, you know, they traded for and things like that. But they let that guy get more reps, and he showed out this game. And we'll just start off right here. All right, obviously starting off with an interception. Now let's break this down. I mean, from the rip, gets physical off the ball. Like right there, this play is already over for this dude. It's nothing he can do. He's lost. Plays over, got his hands on you. He's physical, he's long, he's strong. And then right here, boom, turns and already hits heads, heads around. That's what you want to see from your cornerback, man. Get your head around, look for the football. And when the corner's like this, when you can't tell who's the receiver and who in the corner, corner wins this matchup every time. I mean, he's just in better position than a receiver. Has the receiver, you know, pushed out of bounds. Out of bounds is your friend. Obviously, the quarterback has to drop a absolute dime to fit that in there. Adebo wins this matchup fairly, fairly easily, man. Comes down with interception. Big interception. Red zone interception. And to get those red zone turnovers, obviously, is a big, big thing in this league. So, kudos to him for that. We'll run this back one more time. Wins off the line. Turns around. Great position. Everything's just perfect. Like, you can't ask for, for much more from him right there. All right, these next two plays are actually back-to-back -back plays, and I did want to highlight that he's actually a, a solid tackler. These two plays are nothing major. Just going to be him making solid open field tackles, which you need from your corners. If you like that, just patient. That's all it is. He's just patient. Find a gap. Makes a tackle. Gibson's not an easy running back to take down either. I mean, this is a big tackle here. He breaks this tackle, maybe gets past Marcus Williams. He may be off to the races. So that's, a, that's another solid tackle. And it's a lot going on. It's a guy coming in motion behind a quarterback and a running back. Look at his eyes. Eyes in the backfield, reading, reading. Once he finds it, reacts, makes the tackle. Once again, another perfect play, perfect tackle. All right, right here we gave up the completion, but I don't care. Bottom of the screen, I forgot to tell y'all that right there. Bottom of the screen right here. Just watch the clamps he, put, he puts on. Putting on the clinic, man. If he gets a hold of you, you can just stop. Plays over for you. Right here, hands on. Plays over. This kid's done. Runs the inside route. Boom. He sees the ball thrown. Turns around. The hustle. Tries to get in on this tackle. Gets a little chip. Can't ask for much more, man. Can't ask for much more. Top of the screen. Up here, close to the 30-yard line up here. Let's watch this, and we'll talk about it. Right here, another completion. However, we're just watching. We're watching the Debo, man. It's a lot of traffic going on right here. Just a beautiful rub route by Washington right here. Boom. It's a lot of traffic in here. That's what they want. They're trying to free this guy up on his crossing route. The Debo's having none of it. Boom. Already one step after the traffic. He's back on it. Back on his horse. That kid's locked up. You know, a pass can't be completed there. They end up finding this guy here, but Terry, but it's cool. All right, right here. I mean, he, he's, he's giving up catches. All corners give up catches, but this one right here, man, I wish, I wish he would have just, you know, used his eyes and reacted. But we'll watch. Bottom of the screen. Give this catch up. I know it's small. Seven yards, eight yards, nothing too crazy, but I want to watch. The Saints had the perfect play call on for this. They're, Saints are in cover two. So in cover two, the, the responsibilities of these two outside corners, you can watch Lattimore up top. You can watch Adebo at the bottom. You have to force them corners inside of you. If you let them get outside of you, you're going to get cussed out when you get to the sideline, first of all, and you're probably going to give up a big play. So let's watch both of these corners. Boom, look at Lattimore, forces them inside. Adebo forces them inside. Now, Debo right here has to know, right here, this guy's stopping. You have to attack that route. 
You see Gardner Johnson's on the, the running back here. Lattimore t up top on that check down. When he stops here, he needs to be breaking. This is your this is your chance. This is the perfect play call. This is the interception written all over it. He just waits, comes out of his break kind of, you know, kind of tight, false stepping. But right here, perfect play call. Perfect play call by Dennis Allen. This this should be a pick. When he gets better, a little older, he's he's going to end up with that interception. Guarantee it. I won't be surprised if in a couple weeks he does. I want you to watch the Mario Davis on this play as well. He knows. He's reading the quarterback. He's reading those eyes. Perfect play call. They throw this ball to Terry. Watch the Mario. Boom. He knows where this is coming. You throw that stop route, you know, where he is, it's over with. He comes back to this option, completes it. Like I said, nothing major. Nitpicky because he had a great, great game. Nitpicky right there. But I would like to see him make that play. He's good enough. All right, bottom of the screen again. Screen play, not so much, though. Uh, this is good. Just man-to-man -man coverage here. Obviously, watching the ball, ball snap, eyes on the receiver. Receiver breaks. I'm already breaking. This blocker is not going to get to him. Too fast, too athletic. Gets a little chip. But even if this ball is completed, I mean, this kid's going nowhere. That's an easy, easy tackle for loss. Almost, you know, gets a hand, almost interception because it's a bad ball because he's trying to avoid Cam, uh, Cam Jordan right there, who actually does a good job of not getting chipped. We're just going to squeeze. We're just going to change directions right here just real quick. Watch Cameron Jordan. On these quick screens, the old linemen are just going to try to chip you and get your hands down because they know if it's a quick screen, you're going to try to bat it. Watch this right tackle. Tries to chip. Cameron Jordan recognizes it. Boom, beats it, gets a hand on the ball. Perfect from him. Perfect from Adebo. That's just good football all around. And, yeah, man, what a bounce back game from him. Because if you watch, you know, if you watch my videos, if you've been following me, I say play Roby. I can admit when I'm wrong, I want them to play Roby. I still think they should play Roby more, but that's a different story. Uh, but I'm glad they gave the kid another shot, man. They obviously think high of him. And that this experience in this bounce back game sure did help, help a lot for his confidence, for my confidence, fans' confidence. I'm sure Dennis Allen is showing Peyton confidence. That's nice for him, man. That's real, real nice. I think we might have might have stolen one in the draft, uh, and hopefully he just keeps playing well. He's going to have some tough matchups, especially this week, because Marshawn Lattimore is going to have DK Metcalf or Lockett. And, hey, Adebo, you're going to have the other. So you're going to be Metcalf and Lockett all week. So that will be an interesting, interesting battle for him. This is going to be his biggest test yet in the NFL. We'll see how he do. Uh, like I said, man, thank you all for tuning in once again. This the Boo Tragedies. Like comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll be with you tomorrow morning as always. I'm out.